listen to that rally inspired exhaust that we have in the rear. Sounds fantastic. I want to say thanks to European Auto House for letting me review this car today. Go and check out this car and their full inventory at europeanautohouseco.com or click the link in the description. If you were to ask me what are some of the best models that Ford had built the past decade or so, this, the Ford Focus RS, is definitely up there. I love this design and I miss it a lot. Unfortunately, it was discontinued in 2018. We have 350 horsepower and 350 pound-feet of torque under the hood. Rally-inspired graphics on this car. This is all stealthed out. So what we're gonna do in this video is have a look at the front end. We're gonna talk about the side, the rear, the interior, and then, of course, we're gonna take it for a drive. So let's start with the front view of the Focus RS and the line flow, because there's something really interesting thing going on here when you look at the lines in the front end. If you look at the lines in the hood, these lines right here, this, the bumper lines and this line, you have this uh, wing at the bottom, all of these lines are pointing towards one single point and it creates a very tight looking front end when you have all these lines pointing towards the center of the car. One detail in the front that a lot of people don't really like about the RS is this black bar in the middle. They wonder why would they put it right in the middle of the grill and kind of cover up most of the openings. Well, the thing is Ford didn't have a choice. They had to put this in because underneath here you have a metal bar. So you could choose to have either a visible al aluminum or some metal silver bar in the middle of the, of the car or they could opt for covering it up in this way like they did here. And one detail that I love that they did with this uh, graphic in the front, this solution, it actually has some styling to it. So it not, it's not just one black rectangular piece that sits in the middle. They actually decided to add some styling pieces into this. And I think it looks pretty good. It makes the front end of the RS pretty unique. And also they added the RS badging right here with the typical blue RS color. Disregarding this big piece coming up, a large percentage of the front end grille, other than that, all of the vents in the front end of the RS are actually functional. This is open right here. You can, I can touch the intercooler when I stick my finger in here. The bottom part is also open and these side vents are also functional. Pretty unusual in today's car design. One detail I think Ford could maybe have done a little better is the identity of the car and the DNA of the front face because the only thing that lights up at daytime, the daytime run lights, is this tiny little strip of LED. And at the same time, though when you only have a tiny strip like this at this specific angle not a lot of cars are that simplistic when it comes to the daytime running lights so even though it's so simple it still creates some sort of identity for RS and you're gonna know that you're looking at an RS when you see this at night just because of the angles of the daytime running lights even though they are very simplistic one cool detail about these headlights though is that they are adaptive which means that they follow the way you steer your steering wheel so if you're turning to the right these are actually gonna angle to the right and light up what's around the corner. Looking at the Ford Focus RS from a side view, you can definitely tell that this has been clearly rally inspired. And it's not, not just for the additional parts it puts on this, but what I like about this design is the line flow. We talked about the lines in the front end, but the, that same line flow carries on all around the car. For example, have a look at this line down here at the bottom, continuing into the bumper right here. We have these wide fenders and this big RS spoiler at the back, which definitely sends the car off in a nice way. And also, of course, adds to this rally feel of the car. This specific car had some carbon fiber lower side skirts and carbon fiber door mirrors which is interesting and you have these 19 inch RS wheels which me personally I don't know if you can see this on the camera probably not and that's exactly what I'm talking about when it comes to black wheels they kind of melt into the body you can't see the spokes themselves and it creates this big black hole for the wheels and wheels to me are such an important design feature that I would probably switch these out probably have them be gunmetal or maybe even bronze another detail I love about the side view is 
is you can definitely tell not just for the wheels and the wing but even here in the front of the car in a side view you can see that this is something special about this focus because this intake goes far into the side view of the car you can see this intake from a side view in addition of course to the big RS wheels one weird detail about this design that I think Ford could have done a little better is this plastic piece here you have the roof line cutting in and then they had to fill this area with something and I guess they just decided to just smack a uh, plastic piece onto that to cover it up instead of having maybe a small window here or something like that you might ask why would you pick this weird blue colors for the calipers of the Ford Focus RS well the reason for that is the rally sports section division of Ford this is actually their official color so that's why you see it on the four piston calipers up front and in the rear and also in other graphic details all around the car coming around to their tail end of the Focus RS I've always been a fan of this generation Ford Focus I think it looks very clean and these taillights they always start for me they always look like someone took a ball of color and just splashed it onto the car and then it kind of continues onto the side and this then actually continues into the shoulder line this area of the of the rear tail line that sticks out into the side continues into the shoulder line of the car another detail I love about this car the RS that makes it special is the lower end diffuser with these big bazooka tailpipes on each side super aggressive wings and fins in this diffuser as well another detail that definitely sets it apart from your regular focus one thing I would change here is to remove this chrome badge I don't like to have chrome specifically not on sporty cars like this even though this is the official Ford emblem I would still make do something about this and switch it out to maybe a black Ford emblem of course we can't talk about the rear end without mentioning the big spoiler up top they could have just ended it with this spoiler down here with this integrated brake light or reverse light however they added almost like a double spoiler on here and we also have two fins here to add to that functionality when it comes to the aerodynamics I love that we have the RS badge on the side engraved into the side of the wing looking really cool in the same blue color one detail you can separate this from the Ford Focus ST for example is to just look at the exhaust pipes if you have the exhaust in the middle that means that you're looking at an ST when you have them like this and a lot bigger on each side that means of course that you're looking at an RS welcome to the interior of the Ford Focus RS first thing you notice when you jump into this that is different from the normal Ford Focus are these leather and Alcantara wrapped Recaro seats with the RS stitching in nitrous blue on the on the backrest and you also have the nitrous blue stitching all across the seats very beautifully done and you also have this same stitching carried over to the steering wheel on the inside right here details like that that makes the RS feel special you also have an RS logo down here at the steering wheel looking at the interior here it might feel maybe a little bit over stylized but that was the era of Ford it's still functional very well and I love that we have a proper cap for the gauge cluster the tachometer speedometer digital you have a middle screen in the right right in the middle and you also have a cap for the infotainment screen right here vents that don't necessarily look traditional but they're right here they have some styling to them and some you know, some cool outlines and silhouettes to them but they're still very easy to operate and function in the middle right here under the screen you have the settings for the stereo and you have the climate control buttons and everything tactile thankfully I mean this is not a new car so pretty much every single car back in the day had this kind of layout which I prefer as I'm sure you know then you have a bunch of different drive modes right here you have this drive mode button that chooses how the exhaust sounds how much traction you have and how much power is going to be sent to the rear wheel there is a drift mode in this that actually sends all the power to the rear wheels which I think is fantastic up here you have some gauges for the oil temp the oil pressure and the turbo boost and last but not least the Ford Focus RS only came with a proper manual shifter and it feels really good to go through these gears each gear has its dedicated spot it's very easy to find the gears in this car one thing that annoys me in this specific RS I'm not sure if that's the case for every single RS but listen to this this seat is rubbing up against the center console 
and I can't figure, it doesn't matter how I adjust, how much I adjust the seat, I always have this rubbing. And this is one detail that would drive me completely nuts if I own this car, but maybe it's just me and maybe it's just this RS, I'm not sure. You do have two cup holders right here in the middle, pretty conveniently located. You have a USB port in the center, you have some slots here for storage, and you have a tiny little compartment for some small stuff, maybe some like, set of keys or something like that. There is also a 12 volt outlet down here and another USB port. Listen to that rally inspired exhaust that we have in the rear, sounds fantastic. Here we are guys, driving the Ford Focus RS and listen to this noise. Proper rally car noise. I love the bangs and crackles from the exhaust and you can hear the wastegate from the turbo which brings me back to my old 200 SX that I had in Sweden. My first sports car also had the same kind of noises that we're making right now. That noise is addicting, specifically with those bangs on the uh, when you let go of the throttle. It just sounds so good, and you want to hear it over and over and over again. And you know what? I've completely forgotten about this creaking noise, even though I notice now that it's still there. But I'm having too much fun driving this car, so it actually doesn't really bother me. I can barely hear it, hear it anyway over the <laughs> over the noise of the engine. It's a good old manual transmission, so much fun to drive. The seating position in here, I, li I really like it because I feel like I'm sitting inside of the car and not on top of the roof. I feel like I'm sitting very low down and it feels cozy in here, specifically with everything being dark and, and pretty much black in here. I like that a lot. Are there some squeaks and rattles in here? Yes, they are, but as I said, it don't really bother me and I can promise you this, if you hear any squeaks and rattles in here, it's not going to bother you once you drive the car. 